In the past two chapters, we have been given a function fs and asking what the derivative of function this function was. Starting with this section, we are now going to turn this around. We now want to ask what the function we definite to get the function fx. This point was to get you thinking about how to do this problem. It is important in reality to remember that we are really just asking what we different need to get the given function. The other point is to recognize that they are actually an infinite number of the function that we could use and they will all different by a constant. An indefinite integral is a function that takes the antiderivative of another function. It is visually represented as an integral symbol, a function, and then a dx at the end. The indefinite integral is an easy way to symbolize taking the antiderivative. The indefinite integral is related to the definite integral, but two are not the same. For examples, given a function, an antiderivative fx is any function such that f prime x is equal to fx. If function is any antiderivative of fx, then the most general antiderivative of fx is called an indefinite integral where integral of fx dx is equal to fx plus c, which c is any constant. Tapi detail mengenai example B, tapi sebelum tu kita tuntut properties yang ada dalam example B. Yang pertama adalah S. S. Integral ni, integral ni dia akan jadi S n plus one over n plus one plus C. C ni penting lah, kena wajib ada. Then the second one is S over n. Akan jadi ni plus ni. Untuk lebih jelas dan sampai kedua ni, kita bagi satu contoh. Dx per ds equal to x plus c. So, sekarang. Now. Okay. Sebelum tu kita pecahkan dulu dia X plus 10 Per Plus 3 Plus 3 Yes Okay Kita Jadi tujuh satu tu kita tulis balik apa yang tinggal empat x seven x plus seven okay so sampai sini kita dah boleh integralkan dia so integralkan dia akan dapat Empat S kuasa lapan bahagi dengan lapan tolak dengan dua S kuasa dua bahagi dengan dua tambah dengan lima belas S plus C kuasa ni jangan lupa hmm. so boleh kemudahkan dia begitu so the final answer is of 2 by 2 x plus 7 by tolak dengan x plus That's all. Thank you. The example of application in indefinite integral is a high speed train, which is the displacement from velocity and 
velocity from acceleration. Expression for velocity by differentiating the expression for displacement, such as the equation is equal to v equal to ds of dt. We can find the expression for the acceleration by differentiation the expression for velocity and this is equivalent to finding the second derivative of the displacement. For example, the equation is a is equal to dv over dt is equal to d squared s over dt squared. The displacement of an object at time t given the expression for velocity v as equal to integral v dt. The velocity of an object at time t with acceleration a is given by v equal to integral a dt.